Hey everybody. I think you stated that seven out of 10 aircraft that go down, um, seven out of 10 that's on purpose. And you're seeing the plane and it's, it's kind of going like this, like the pilots are trying to make it They're go up. It, yeah. Somebody else is trying to make it go down. And it's literally like fighting itself mm -hmm. in the air and then it crashes in this huge fireball. Yeah. It was like 19 or 20 people from the UN Amen. were on that plane. Right. right, right. It's very, very, I mean, that, is a flying black triangle. Generating gravity waves, the ability to do anti-gravity. I mean, we hear this stuff online, oh, David was only in it for the money, David never really believed what Corey was saying. Or I'm blackmailing you. Yeah, <laughs> none of that is true. Bullshit. <laughs> the reason why I know that you're telling the truth is because there was way, way, way too many things that you knew that I had gathered from literally dozens of different people. You knew code names, you knew things that were very highly specific that I had never put online. Um, but uh, yeah, the um, I was given a briefing about naval um, uh, expeditions uh, around Antarctica. It was using a uh, advanced secret type of radar. And so... Advanced technology. This is a really big thing. So let's go back to 2009 and I started to meet Pete Peterson. I always taped my calls with Pete, not to be used for public distribution necessarily, but for documentation because he'd say so much stuff. I mean, there's no, even if you're typing constantly, you're not going to get it all, which I could go back and audit if this becomes of world importance, you know, which it looks like it could. Bullshit. I also heard it has an elongated skull. But anyway, the, the bottom line was this guy was aware of it. Other people Pete spoke to were aware of it. I've been hearing about this since 2009. But then you got a really cool briefing. I was recently told that there was a U.S. Army retired um, person, mud and, and rock buildings. And it's like this huge, huge, huge cave network. So, so this is the one thing that I, I, I okay, I... I what, what I was told was that this validates the Hopi legend. It's definitely possible. Cataclysm. <laughs> Some of the triggering of the Super Federation memories was mm -hmm. so intense for you. Right. They're heavily involved in this 22 genetic programs that are going on. Mm -hmm. So this perfectly validates what Pete's been telling me that I could dig up the phone recordings and pull it out since 2009. What's your telling of, of the Hopi legend as it relates to this? You know, they're going into these dark caves, they're doing all of these ceremonies, and they're coming in contact with these ant people. Right, so just, just again to make it really simple, some kind of catastrophic thing is going to happen on the surface of the planet, right? So, you know... Okay, so I, 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 I was on a cruise ship with mm -hmm. the Alliance, and we were celebrating... That the, that the victory against the deep state had taken place. And you said some pretty provocative stuff after I sent you that dream. I don't remember what I said. It's not fear porn anymore. No. What are they saying? Tell, tell everybody. <clears throat> There's been a dramatic change. There's been a dramatic change. There's been a dramatic change. We don't know what's gonna happen next. This, uh, this foe, you know, we know we're gonna defeat them, but they're gonna take down a lot of us. Uh, it's gonna be horrible, it, you know. So let's also bring this up because I think it's very relevant. Satellite technology. <laughs> I was talking to um, an Alliance um, member that uh, is a retired general that's been following all of this very closely, mm -hmm. what's been going on in France and in, in Europe. Bullshit. Deep state. It's really crazy. So the, the deep state has tried so hard to create a, a fight to the death within the UFO community. People who are willing to entertain the idea of a secret space program, which you were instrumental, not that you were the first, because I've been hearing about this for over a decade before then. But you were the first one to want to talk about it on camera. The Dark Alliance. Debate and talk about these different ideas and not just... Respectfully. <laughs> right. And the, the, I guess the, there are going to also you know, be some uh, Alliance people around uh, rubbing shoulders with us. All right. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Uh, we'll see you next time. Uh, Whether I like it or not, and it's not an ego thing, just when my name's in a video, a lot more people see it. Right. Very highly specific. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 um, it, it, they said... And smash the bell 